What happened to the Abyss expansion from Hollow Knight? The Abyss is definitely one of the areas of the game that we know the least about. It's just so dark and mysterious. And something you might not know about this area is that it was planned to have a big expansion that would definitely have told us a lot more about the lore of this mysterious area. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys all about the giant expansion and what could have been. This all starts way, way back in November 2014. This was when Team Cherry created a Kickstarter for their upcoming game, Hollow Knight, seeking a modest sum of 35,000 Australian dollars to make their game. There were other funding goals too though, the White Palace, additional quests, making Hollow Knight playable on Wii U, the stupid thing that we've been waiting for since 2019. And of course, the topic of this video, the Abyss Expansion. But Team Cherry, hardiest of adventurers? Really? Hardiest? What are we, in a cowboy movie from the 1800s now or something? Okay, okay, let's not diverge too much from the topic. Back to the Abyss. So, the only problem with the expansion was that the funding required was uh, not the modestest 85,000 Australian dollars and uh, let's just say we didn't get there but at least the abyss was still included in the final game with zero bosses Ari Gibson has mentioned on reddit that what we see in the final game is just the abyss shore and that the expansion would have taken the night into the lake of void to explore the twisted space within later though in an interview in 2017 Ari said that team cherry wouldn't be working on the abyss expansion and instead would be focusing their efforts on a new game in the near future. <laughs> okay, now that we know we're never getting the expansion, let's discuss why we should get it. Wait, what? Okay, anyway, let's discuss what we might have got with the expansion. Number one, there would most likely have been more explanation and lore behind the Pale King, the Vessels and Shades and maybe even some insight about the obscure ancient civilizations that came before Halonest. Number 2. There would have been a map made by Conifer, or maybe someone else if Conifer was too scared to make a map of this area. It would have also had a stag station, probably, and it would have had new charms to find, like any other area. Maybe a charm that lets you swim in void or something? I don't know. And there might have been some quests and stuff that's relating to the lighthouse, or maybe even a boss that guards the lighthouse or something. But yeah, that's all just speculation on my part and none of this has been confirmed by Team Cherry. And sadly, in the current game, the abyss is just a pretty small, boring area where the knight finds the shade cloak and the abyss will shriek. But yeah, that's it for this video and if you made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing, it would really mean a ton. Thanks and bye!